Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. My brother Levi or I would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 1996 Airstream B190 with only 9,916 actual miles. Alrighty folks, here we are inside of this 1996 Airstream B190. As usual, I'll start in the front, work my way towards the rear, then come back towards the front. I'm gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business since 1976. This unit is very unique. So this is a two owner Texas unit. Got this out of Texas. It only has 9,916 miles on it currently, so less than 10,000 actual miles. The story on that is the it was a husband and wife that purchased it new. The wife passed away and the husband lost interest. Later on, his daughter inherited it from him. She thought she would get to use this unit, but never really had the chance. It was always stored in a carport. So while this unit is not brand new or perfect, it is extremely nice and not something you're going to find every day with this kind of miles on it. It's gone through our full inspection process, so this unit's ready to go. Without any further ado, we're going to get rolling here. We've got some fading on the carpet along the edges you're going to see as we go throughout here. Got the 110 plug in here, a fire extinguisher, furnace exhaust, porch light on off switch. Got a counter flip out here to give you some more room in the kitchen. Got a storage pouch here, a speaker that goes to the head unit up front, sort of the driver and passenger are listening to will come out of here. These windows do open, however, they do not have screens, but we've got these curtains on here for privacy. Got a window with a screen on this side. By the way, I'm using the unicorn pointer here because this is quite the unicorn unit. Got your thermostat for the furnace, water heater on off switch, noxious gas detector. Got a TV with a built-in DVD player. Got a 12 volt power here, the booster for the TV antenna. Got a 110 outlet, generator start stop switch. This has 32 hours, fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified own and technicians. Got a transfer switch here. You can choose whether you wanna run off the alternating current plug-in or the generator. Got the levels test for your black tank, your gray tank, fresh water tank, liquid propane gas, and your coach battery. Push this button here to be able to test the levels. Water pump on off switch, hood light and fan. Three burner propane cooktop with an aluminum backsplash. Got an actual oven on this one. Got a furnace duct down there, that's your wheel well. your fresh water tank here. Double basin stainless sink. I'll flip you around to the driver's side of the coach now. So we got this bunk up here. We'll check this out, pulled out and some measurements in a little bit. So this can slide out towards you and come out to this area here. Then you got the double cushion so you can fill in this bigger area to be able to make a larger bed up top. Got lights on each side. Windows with screens on this half and this half. Got a fantastic fan here. This acts like an attic fan at night. This runs off the coach battery. 
We got two belts on the sofa. The center portion flips down. Got a window with a screen here. Do have some discoloring and some age here on the couch. Two lap belts on the sofa, so a total of four belts in this unit. The storage drawer was your table leg. Check out some of the storage over the couch. Got your manuals in there on the left. We've got about 78 inches of headroom up here in the front. That tapers down to about 75. It's about 72 inches here at the air conditioner. Got a two-way Dometic fridge freezer. So that's a two-way, meaning it runs on propane gas or AC power. It should be your shore power plug-in or your generator. Got the freezer up top. Got the controls for the AC right here on the unit itself. Got a medicine cabinet. The rear windows do not open. We've got the privacy curtains here. Got your propane furnace. We have a privacy screen here that you can pull across. It's a nice, easily accessible toilet. Got your shower. Got an exhaust fan there in the ceiling. Squeeze you by here. Nice storage area here. A storage area here that's accessible through the rear door as well. Got your table, power cord, some other goodies inside of here. You can hang clothes in here on this rod. Here we are standing at the rear of the Airstream. Why do people in Athens hate getting up early? Because dawn is tough on Greece. Down here below the jackknife sofa, we got your coach battery disconnect. It disconnects everything from the batteries to prevent parasitic draw. That will also disconnect the charging systems. Got your fuse panel. A little bit of wear on the jackknife sofa here. So this just picks up and comes out. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now with some measurements so you can see what the jackknife sofa looks like made up as well as the bunk bed. The bunk bed measures approximately 78 inches north-south and 70 inches east-west. The bunk can be used without extending it, and it measures approximately 54 inches north-south and 70 inches east-west in this configuration. The jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 36 inches by 70 inches. All in all, I've got a very nice and unique specimen here. Not something you're going to find very often, being a two-owner Texas unit with less than 10,000 actual miles. I'm going to call this one a 9 out of 10. Got some carpet fading throughout. Got some blemishes on the couch, little dings here and there. I'm sure I missed a couple little scratches, but all in all, this is a very nice clean unit, something I think you'd be happy with. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, tilt, cruise, CD player. Got some fading on the carpet up front. This is very common on RVs of this era. Got this privacy curtain that pulls all the way around the front. We'll meet in the middle, give you some privacy while you're parked. Clean upholstery. Got a little mark there. Nice glove box. Well, it's tough to say for sure. I'm not noticing any funny smells, burns, stains. The cigarette lighter is unused, so I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 1996 Airstream B190. This RV measures 19 and a half feet bumper to bumper. Has an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 2620 date codes. This Airstream is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 7.5 liter V8 engine with only 9,916 miles. 
This is an excellent, excellent condition for a 96. Not perfect, but about as close as you're gonna find. A Little bit of age on some of the stripes, but overall, lots and lots of shine on this. Decals are in excellent condition. Got the fill for the fresh water tank, porch light, two 110 outlets so you can plug things in beneath the awning. Got your furnace exhaust, back of the water heater. Got your air conditioner up top there. Got a access ladder, spare tire there on the rear. Got a tow package. Everything is just very, very clean on this unit. Got some water connections. It's your power cord coming into there. Some storage there with your table. This unit has, according to what we were told by the previous owners, spent its entire life in a carport. So it has been covered since new. Got your sewer dumps, sewer hose storage, city water connection, 30 amp shore power connection. Back of the refrigerator. So a little closer look at these stripes and the paint on this. So you can get an idea for the shine. Little boo-boo there. Got your fuel tank here that fills the engine and the generator. Generator will run down to around a quarter tank. Got your generator exhaust. Got the Onan 2800 Microlite generator. Got a little paint boo-boo there. All in all though, a fantastic looking Airstream. Beautiful specimen.